Dev Tour winning on the Challenge Tour and just a match away from winning on the Pro Tour. He's made a fine start to life at the PDC oh, Players Championships and so has the man alongside me. I'm Chris Murphy, Dan McCarthy making his debut. Have you enjoyed it? And was this the outcome you were expecting? Absolutely loved it. It's a very good uh, introduction. You promised me that <laughs> when we were just talking off air. So you've passed that test. Not the final that I would have been expecting. 100. And by every kind of metric, really, it's a real David versus Goliath clash. If you look at past experience, titles won. But Jan van Veen has absolutely no reason to fear Gerwin Price. He's played some brilliant stuff today. Some heavy, heavy scoring, particularly in that last match against Dave Chisnell. And a wonderful 118 out to win that game by seven legs to three. But Gerwin Price has thrown some impressive stuff himself today. No, Still just 20 six. years of age, van Veen has now played in finals on the Development Tour, Challenge Tour and Pro Tour in the space of just three months. One hundred. Remarkable, really. But it just goes to show what success on those second tier tours can do because it's only by virtue of his success on the Challenge Tour in particular that he's been able to play in these players' championship events, filling in for absentees. Yeah, it's kind of been a... A running theme this season as Van Veen looks for the 160 and it dips just below and sarcastically shapes his arm as he goes to collect the darts. Tops, tops for Gerwin Price. 65. Just over. And I was certain that was going to nestle into the bed of the double top. And I would not have wanted to be on the end of that right hook either. Double five would land the first blow, but that is awkward. He thought it was in. He stepped forward. He knows now that the way his dart dangles down, this Game would be shot. a dart and a half. Should be worth that is more than a dart and a half. That's two, three darts <laughs> yeah. all in one. Should be worth two legs, shouldn't it, that? How did he find the gap? 140. Brilliant. Brilliant. Look at that. Incredible. Yeah, his darts do lay. I mean, from the camera angles hey, that we have, a standard... On a darts board, it looks like they lie flat, but when you actually see it from eye level, they do tilt towards the floor, and it was no, covering it's a good portion of that double. And they do cock a little bit to the right-hand side sometimes as well, so it's very unorthodox, but I've been saying to, to both Dan and, and Paul in comms, watching Jan van Veen, he's made it work for himself. The way that he kind of rolls the dart in his hands as he's about to oh, release it... Fine. It's it's completely it's a strange technique, but he's mastered it. One. He did have a little issue with his release n not so long ago. Just I'm talking months ago. No problems from Price, but maybe just that little twist no, might be the thing that that stopped that stalling in his throw. Players find a way, and he seems to have found one that has not only corrected an issue but improved his game to an extraordinary level double 12 game shot well he gets double six and it is all square and price is letting no letting van veen know that he's up for this isn't he no doubt about that yeah it's been relatively slim pickings for going price in the players championships this year i mean there is the obvious caveat that he chooses not to play in all of them because he's got a, a massively busy schedule as it is. But just 45. the one title to his name this year, that was back in March in Niederhausen where he defeated Madas Rasma in the final. Beyond that, not really being too much to shout about. Saving his best stuff for the telly, oh, that's what the, the best players tend to do. But he's thrown some magnificent darts today. 140. Yeah, the the four nine darters on TV. This calendar year, quite remarkable. Nobody had ever managed more than two before that. 180. Three in a bed for Van Veen. To leave himself in a good position. Has been hitting plenty of maximums today, 98. the young Dutchman. Another one of those. 92. Well, he decided to go the different route instead. I think that dart that landed in the treble bed was a little bit precariously. Yeah, I do get it, but he might have done himself out of a, dart, a double. 
would have left himself a double with three in hand. Game but he backed shot. himself with two. And he takes leg three. Those pipes that he used are almost as long as the barrel he holds the dart with. But Jan Van Veen, if he does go on and win this, and, well, even if he, he doesn't win, he can take so much confidence going into tomorrow. And then 100. the Euro Q school for him in January. And on form like this, you wouldn't back against him getting a, a card. Well, we were looking at some things before this match I hope he's not aware of because it may serve as a distraction uh, more on his mind. But if he wins this match, he's going to be at the Players' Championship finals. 180. He's going to be in contention for the World Championship. Yeah, it's a remarkable story as Gerner Price searches for his first 180. And he gets it to leave 61 after nine. Talk about taking your opportunities when they're presented to you. Jan Van Veen taking advantage of those absentees. Price, well, he's wanted uh, treble seven. 13, 13 left. Double four, the target. 53. And there's an outside break chance, and this would be gigantic. If Van Veen can take this out. He's not going to, though, on this occasion. Price returns. 137. Under pressure. Game shot. But he pins. He's dealt with plenty of pressure in his time. This will feel like nothing. 2-2, two -two though. And certainly, Jan Van Veen is giving Price a game. We can see 123. that. 123. That last leg saw him incidentally hit his 25th maximum of the day. Price responded with his 20th. 100. Perfect dart for him. Perfect darts for him. 125. There's a standard. And there you see, certainly capable of living with Gerwin Price. And this is just an indication of the strength and depth in, this, in depth in this sport, isn't it? Because, as we've been saying, he's not even a player who holds a tour card. He should be a good draw for somebody. Well, he's beaten everybody that's been put in front of him today. Well, prior to this final... He's hit ton plus averages in four of his six matches, and the other two were 94. So it's not as if he's dropped off massively. And the 113 to win the fifth leg. Down for treble 19. Went for 50. the 14s. Bit of a sloppy one, but still in a good position in this leg. Mm. Nice going price can hit something massive here. 100. Should be getting at least one dart at the outer ring. It's all he's getting. Double 16 to hit the front again. 30. Now there's an opportunity. Well, clearly a fan of double six, the way that he went there. But going Price now wants double 11, the other side of the board. Game shot. Well, you can hear his reaction. He knows what that means. It's a break of throw. Gerwin Price has the advantage against Jan van Veen. It's a longer race, of course, the final first two eight legs. 121. And then by no means out of it, but that's the first blow he's got to deal with. The the positive is he won the bullseye at the start of it, so it is just the one break back 100. that he will need. One hundred and twenty. They're almost too good. Sounded like a doorbell that the way that the dart just clanged into one another. Yeah, it was off the point, wasn't it, of one of the darts already in the bed. One hundred. Tell you something, Jan's darts make a big racket as well when they hit the board. It's like he's throwing bricks. Going price, doing a bit of juggling, unsuccessfully. Yeah, not a throw before anybody. One hundred and twenty. Starts questioning that. And how about that for a reset? Brilliant. Needs to find a treble to leave any kind of finish. He's done that. 97. Well, I was expecting him to go treble 19 then, to go tops, tops. 59. Yeah, so was I. A little bit of a letdown because it's a champagne-style finish, and he does love tops as well. When he lives to regret it, he might do. 
164. 139. Champagne. Can't hit the target. Champagne on ice for Price. But he needs to rescue this, and he hasn't. And Van Veen has the so chance to break yet. back immediately here. Yeah, and he shouldn't have been presented with this chance either. Wry smile on Price's face as Van Veen gets the dart set in his hand. Doing his best Rob Cross impression, stepping back. No, and he can't pin double eight. And Gerwin Price has the opportunity to have a cushion now. Shot. Right in the heart of the top's bed. And Jan Van Veen has to mount something of a comeback now. Yeah, and I, I can't even suggest that it was down to the, the magnitude of the moment there for Van Veen because the second dart in particular was well thrown. It was right on the wire. But you know the outcome usually 60. when Gerwin Price is throwing for tops. Jan Van Veen today has beaten Bradley Brooks, Ronald Dolan, Richie Burnett, Alan Suter, Willie O'Connor and Dave Chisnell to get to this stage. And he's some really good results against players who are in good form as well. Looking at probably Suter onwards, O'Connor and Chisnell. They're playing some good stuff at the moment. 83. One hundred and thirty-four. Van Veen has certainly made a, a name for himself at the end of this 100. season. Who knows where his career will go. But he does look like a very promising prospect. One hundred and thirty. He's able to battle it out leg after leg with the world number one in this sport. Suggests that we will see plenty more of him in years to come. One hundred. Down to the treble nineteen. Eighteen for double top. Game and shot. And that might be a killer blow to Jan Van Veen's hopes. Maybe one bridge too far because Gerwin Price has just taken out a magnificent 115, clutch doubling when he needed it. And now he looks like he's going to motor on, try for the 177. And this is what Van Veen has to cope with if he's going to make it as a top professional, that ability to bring yourself hey, back from disappointing situations. Yeah, both players are... In terms of standard, playing to about their average for the day, Price averaging around 100 for the day going into the final. Van Veen averaging just below 100 going into this final. 60. But it looks like in the first meeting with the Iceman that the ice break, if you like, earlier on has done the damage. Yeah, and Van Veen is a long way behind now. Hundred. Even that ton isn't going to make a big difference. An 11 data on the cards. Game and shot. the love affair with tops continues for Gerwin Price. He's two legs away. And Jan Van Veen is a spectator at the minute because Gerwin Price is producing some magnificent darts. Yeah, much of our conversation quite rightly focused on Jan Van Veen. He's, he's new. Everybody knows plenty about Price, but no, I'm going to get your opinion here, Dan. Do you think this is a bit of a, a statement victory from Price, having been knocked out early at the European Championships last week and then taken the number one, one position hundred. back by default? It's him saying, look, I am the top dog. Yeah, I think every victory at this time of 39. year... Oh, that's a horrible bounce out for Price. Every victory at this time of year, you'd say, is a statement victory, particularly if you can go to these finals... And get the win. Got the Grand Slam coming up next week. We've got Minehead coming up at the end of the month. And then it's it's the big one for Gerwin Price. And he's defending the winner's check as well. Oh, so there's a know. lot at stake for Price heading into this festive period of darts. And he's a um, particular master at the slam, isn't he? Welshman. That's where it all started for him in terms of major success. That infamous final when he upset Gary Anderson to take the first title. He's never looked back. 
I don't know who, ups who, who upset each other the most during that final. Six of one. 53. Well, this would be a statement finish. Not going to happen. So a chance for Van Veen to stop the rot. Remember, this match was tied 97. at 2-2. Tops for Van Bay. Shot. Well, he's not out of this just yet. Firing his arrows in. And he's been very good on tops today. Yeah, and that angle. Camera angle illustrated perfectly why 60 is such a nice finish for him. It is a very tricky one for most players. Yeah, most players, when they throw the dart, it lands upwards and it can be a blocker. Unless you're Daryl Gurney and you can perform a magic trick and get them to lay flat in the board. 60. Well, nothing's flat about this final. Price has steamrolled through four straight legs before that rot stopper from Van Veen. But his level hasn't dropped an awful lot. It's just that Price has, has gone up a little bit. And if you are playing against the world 40. number one and he needs to start to go through the gears, you're doing something right. Yeah, the best compliment you can pay you can pay Jan Van Veen is that Gerwin Price is having to 60. bring maybe not necessarily his A game, but something as close to. He's having to play some great darts, some excellent checkouts have been taken. One hundred and twenty three. There will be respect from Gerwin Price towards his young opponent. I can assure you of that. Well he's earning the respect. And this isn't over yet. Taking this out would make it as good as. And double 12. That would have been a huge blow for Van Veen, but he comes back now looking to break price. 78 points required to do so and really make a fist of this final. Huge, huge moment incoming. And it's that nice 20 in tops for Van Veen again. Has to hit this. Going through. The motions, just setting himself. Game shot. And he hits it. Brilliant dart. Again, right in the middle of the top's bed. And Van Veen with a break. And he had to check that it was a break, I think, there. He looked back at the tablet next to our match official Owen Binks to check that it was indeed him throwing first in the next leg. 60. But you have to say, after all of that routine before throwing the final dart, just showed a little indication into his mental 100. strength there. This is a man who, when I first saw him, was struggling to let go of the darts. And, and as I said earlier, it was only a few months ago. So 40. to have the maturity to take that practice swing, to not throw until he was ready and felt good, is a very, very good signal. But that 180 may just signal the beginning of the end in this final. One hundred and twenty. Yeah, if the mechanics of the throw aren't working, it can quickly demoralise you. You almost get to the hockey and you don't really know what you're doing with the dart in your hand. So, right, Chris, to recover from that, it's testament to his character and to recover to the point where you're at a Players' Championship final in the space of three months, a Challenge Tour, Development Tour and a Players' Championship. It's a phenomenal statistic. Erwin Price looking for a 12 data inside the double 10. So Jan Van Veen might need to take this. Glorious first dart. And it's just below. I just wondered, you know, it was high in the bed, wasn't it? Whether he might have thought about going down to 16s like he did earlier. Whether he even thought about going for tops, tops. Game shot. But it's Price who gets to seven. And that means that Van Veen must win four on the spin or it will be another PDC title for the Iceman Price denying GVV victory in his first final. 140. And it's an accomplished start to this potentially match-winning leg for Price. 8-4 was the margin of victory against Manners Rasma in Niederhausen. Looking to try and repeat history. 180 surely coming. 140. Not on that occasion. Well, he'll settle for that. 
I think he knows the outcome now. 60. It would be his 13th PDC ranking title. 57. To go with the big ones on the TV and European tour. 60. Could do it in style, but I wouldn't expect him to go for this. Does he fancy it? Oh, it's not going to go now. 92. Just to clarify, 13th Players' Championship final. we go in price. 100. And it looks like it's time to seal it. Double 12. Game and price the match. picks up no price. another victory. But Jan van Veen may well be the story of today. The Dutchman in just his eighth PDC Pro Tour tournament, making it through to the final and making a late bid to book his place at the Players' Championship Finals. We need to do a little bit tomorrow to do that. But the title goes the way of Price. 13 on the Players' Championship circuit now. He's second of 2022. And after returning to the world number one spot last week, kind of by default, he's made a statement and reminded us all that he is the number one in the world of darts. Price defeats Van Veen, and let's hear from him now with Dan. Gerwin Price, our winner in the penultimate Players' Championship event of the year. Gezi, after you got through Steve West in the first round, which was a bit touch and go, nobody could touch you today at all, could they? Yeah, I, I slipped up a few times against Steve and let him come back. In the game. I think I went 3-0 up and, yeah, 5-all. He left a shot on the double and I took out 97, but you know, need a little bit of luck in games and, yeah, I certainly had it in that one, but... You know, I, I wanted to beat Rowby. That was a big game for me. Uh, beating me in the Europeans, I've been missing loads of doubles. And I've done the same against him when I played him on, on this board. But, yeah, thankfully I come through that game and, yeah, went on and won. But I haven't... I've played brilliant in some games, but other games just average. Well, you've averaged over a tonne for the whole day, 102 average. A, a, a word for Gian, that's only his eighth senior event in the PDC. He's averaged pretty much a tonne for the day as well. It's scary the amount of talent that's out there, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's what I mean, but people don't realise. You know, When I first started coming to these events and you know, two years down the line, people were saying, are you losing to him? He's, he's a nobody, but there is no nobodies on this tournament. You know, Anybody can beat anybody on any given day. and. You know, if you if you're off by you know five ten percent, then then you're gone. And um, yeah, he's a fantastic player, and I'm sure he'll get to many more finals. But yeah, thankfully I won this one today. Five titles for you now this year. You picked up the World Series finals recently, obviously, and then this one. Good signs going into the back end of the year. I know you love the Grand Slam of darts, and obviously the World Championships one you'll have your eye on. But the Players Championship finals as well is is another big title there for the taking. Yeah, exactly. I, I've got to the final of that and lost against Michael. I've you know, a couple of times in Butlins Players Championship finals and UK Open, but this one of the titles I haven't got in the bag yet. So I'm targeting now, and obviously Grand Slam, good memories there. But yeah, the big one at the end of the year is one I always on that one. Uh, it, also, this is the first place championship title you've won this year without a broken hand, so yeah, that's I a think new one. I've probably, out of the 30, I've probably played in about five or six of them, so <laughs> yeah, I, I had to kick myself up the backside, get myself back up the rankings in, in these events, because you know, if you're not, not in the top 16 of the Pro Tour, then you've got to qualify for Europeans, so the last two weekends of Pro Tours, I've sort of given myself a kick up the backside, made myself come to these, and yeah, I, I wanted to win this because I wanted to go and watch Wales play tomorrow, but... I think I'm going to come and uh, play again, but I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, oh, that's that's a really tactful answer. You know, honestly, I, I needed to do well to stay in the top 16 ready for next year. I said to the missus, if I win today, we'll, we'll go home, but I'm not sure. Yeah, all right. We'll make the most of seeing Gary Price today because chances are he's not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> um, however, it must feel, it feel like everything's coming together because I know at times this year you have, you know, there's been things that get in the way, whether it's the schedule, whether it's when you bust your hand, but now it feels like everything is all set up for this final push at the end of the year, right? Yeah, I'm I'm feeling confident again. Whereas you know maybe five six months ago, you know my my daughter would have beat me in the kitchen. You know, that's that's how poor my my um, confidence was. And you know this game is all about confidence. If you if you can't come onto a board and think you're gonna gonna win every single time, then it's pointless turning up. So. Yeah, it was uh, it was a tough six months for me, but the back end of the year now is coming thick and fast, and the form is coming back. 
and I'm looking forward to the rest of the rest of the tournament. Do you get any confidence from seeing your name next to the number one spot as you've just shot back <laughs> up there over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to be world number one, but I've been world number one three times now <laughs> this year, so it's uh, it's good. But like I said, it's not much difference between me and Peter. And you know, if I don't go and win the worlds, then I drop down maybe number three, number four. But that's not a be all and end all. As long as I'm playing well, picking up some, some money, and you know feeding the family, that's all that matters to me. The, you're one of the very biggest names, obviously, you're world number one, you've won the title here today. We've just seen Ross Smith, who's, he was number 28 in the world, go and win a major title at the European Championship. Again, with Gian in the final, it kind of underlines that the world of darts right now, we're going into every single tournament, and it could be one of dozens and dozens of players, not who could just pick up a win or take a big scout, could actually be the top dog at the end of the tournament, right? Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, how well you've done in the past, because I don't think anybody cares anymore. It doesn't matter, you know, years ago, I think you'd be wary of the likes of Michael, Gary, you know, Phil Taylor when he was still around, but nobody cares anymore. They just turn up, they play darts. If, if they're good enough on a day, they'll win. And I think that's what Ross did. You know, he played fantastic all through that European and then turn up today, play Peter Wright first round <laughs> and bye-bye. But that's the way darts goes, you know. And yeah, it's a, it's a ruthless old game, especially in in the PDC. It's a, it's a tough school. And if you're not 100%, then you're, you're going to be packing. And yeah, Ross came off the back of a good win and then draws Peter Wright. So it's, um, it's a tough school.